Britney Spears released her debut single Baby One More Time in late 1998, when she was only 16 years old. It became one of the most successful songs of all time and catapulted Britney to superstardom. The pop song charted at number one in every country and was the best-selling song of 1999. Furthermore, Rolling Stones named it the greatest debut single of all time. Immediately after her debut, Britney became an international pop icon and emulated the epitome of the American dream. Britney released her debut album of the same name not long after, and it took the world by storm. Giving us hits like You Drive Me Crazy, Sometimes, Born to Make You Happy, and From the Bottom of My Broken Heart, the album was an instant success. Not only did it debut at number one and sell more than 25 million copies worldwide, but Britney and her debut album are often credited for single-handedly reviving teen pop. Following the massive success Britney Spears had with the release of Baby One More Time, many music labels and record companies realized that they too could make money if they followed the Britney Spears formula. So, they went on a quest to create their own Britneys. This usually meant a young blonde that could dance and sing bubblegum pop. Enter Jessica Simpson, Christina Aguilera, and Mandy Moore. These three artists all released their debut albums in 1999, and it was visible that their music, image, and marketing incorporated Britney elements. Apart from some superficial similarities, the four are actually all very different from each other, with each having their own distinct strengths. However, it was clear that their labels were pushing them to be more like Britney. Mandy Moore opened up about this a couple of years ago, saying, I think she, talking about Britney, was like the leader of the pack. She started it all. She was at the forefront of crushing the pop music scene, opening the door for everyone, men and women alike. I knew once I had been signed, and once I was aware of Britney and then Christina came out shortly thereafter, I knew I was my record label's answer to that. So I was aware that that's what my record label was doing, but I also knew that I couldn't compete in that sense. I'm not Britney. I'm not a great dancer. I don't have that same showmanship quality. That was never gonna be me. Britney, Mandy, Jessica, and Christina were all talented young women in the same industry. And sadly, this led the media to compare them endlessly. They were compared based on their vocals, dancing, and even looks. The fact that this was happening in the early 2000s, when tablet culture was at its peak, didn't help either. They were constantly pitted against one another in the media, creating a toxic catfight narrative. Britney and Christina particularly were heavily compared to each other throughout the entirety of their careers. Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera met when they were only 11 and 12 years old. They were both cast in Disney's The All New Mickey Mouse Club in 1993, alongside other future superstars Justin Timberlake and Ryan Gosling. Even though Britney and Christina didn't meet until the Mickey Mouse Club, they had something in common before that. As a matter of fact, both of them had appeared on the talent show Star Search. As we know, Britney and Christina both exploded onto the music scene in the late 1990s, and they were compared endlessly. Britney was portrayed as the good girl, Christina was the bad girl. Britney was the performer, Christina was the vocalist. They were both blonde, they had both been on the Musketeers, so all these, you know, immediate comparisons are there, right there. 
and the press loves that. It's a business. They want their magazines sold, and people don't want to read about, you know, somebody they perceived having a perfect life. They want to read the dirt. They want to read the garbage. They want to, they want to hear about, you know, rivalries. Wardrobe stylist and friend. Trish Somerville. I think again it was that whole high school mentality of pitting the good girl against the bad girl. Christina herself addressed a few rumors multiple times between 1999 and 2001. Give me a line on Brittany. What do you remember of her uh, most as? Uh, Brit Brit. Um, we would all play ping pong in the back, and um, I don't know. We had we had a lot of fun together. A lot of fun. Me, Brit, best friends, and Mister. Here's Britney Spears with the uh, crazy. <laughs> Okay, in the States, you know, this question has really died down a lot, but for all of you out there in Brazil, you haven't been here yet, of course, for my first time, there's no rivalry between me and Britney Spears. We're good. We're friends. No, she's, she's a cool girl. You know, anytime we see each other at awards or we're either presenting or performing, we, we always run into each other. You know, our schedules are busy. We, we don't get to hang out, whatever. You know, we used to be really good friends in the Mickey Mouse Club, but there's no competition at all. You know, if I'm in competition with anybody, it's with myself and improving my own artistry. But, you know, it's just crazy. You know, it's... Who knows? Maybe you'll see a duet in the future, but there's no denying anything. You know, the possibilities are endless and they're open, but she's just a cool girl, no fighting. But we are two very different artists, and mm -hmm. it's just going to take a little bit before everybody, you know, really sees that for sure. Mm -hmm. The two singers' career came to another cross in 2003, when they both performed alongside Madonna at the VMAs. In the performance, there was a moment where Madonna kisses Britney and then Christina but Christina's moment was overshadowed by the Britney kiss. This is because directly after the Madonna and Britney kiss, the camera cut to Britney's ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake's face to see his reaction. The next day, everyone was talking about the Madonna, Britney and Justin situation, but not so much about Christina. This incident might have started a bit of bad blood between the two, because between 2003 and 2005, the singers started to make little jabs at each other through the press. In 2003, Christina talked to Blender magazine about her experience rehearsing with Britney, saying, Every time I tried to start a conversation with her, well, let's just say she seemed nervous at the whole time. She seems to me like a lost little girl, someone who desperately needs guidance. Britney responded to Christina's comment, saying, A lost little girl? I think it's probably the other way around. I can't believe she said that about me kind of on a different note and I was kind of shocked to see it because I'd only heard nice things coming out of your mouth about Christina uh, but in this new Blender magazine she rips into Kelly Osbourne and Beyonce and you saying that you had to kiss Madonna at the VMAs because you needed a gimmick and she said these people aren't artists they're just performers fake and super hey, Mouse get your teammate Christina Aguilera I don't know her her boyfriend I don't know her anymore so um, no comment I wish them the best Didn't she kiss her too? Right. <gasps> That's what threw me right. off about She that. kissed her too, right? But see, everyone's like, oh, they're, they're wanting to, you know, form a gimmick. But it's like, you know what? I'm just doing my job. The media, they're the one who make it interpreted it that way. Yeah. I'm just doing what I do. Yeah. And if they want to interpret it and misconstrue it in their way, let them misconstrue it. Now, so. how, how do you respond to Christina, though? Because that's kind of like a personal pot shot. Like, that you know doesn't what? feel I right. don't want to say anything. <laughs> really? No, 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 no. She has an amazing voice. She's an amazing girl, but she says some things sometimes that are just kind of rude. Mm. Later that same year, Christina started the Justified and Strip Tour with Justin Timberlake. Many interpreted this as Christina stabbing Britney in the back, since Justin and Britney's breakup was very public and it looked like Christina was taking Justin's side. In 2004, after Britney got engaged, Christina talked to Us Weekly about Britney, saying, I can't believe that girl bought her own engagement ring. I've seen it up close. It looks like she got it on QVC. She continued by saying, I know Britney. She's not trailer trash, but she sure acts that way. The feud started to cool down in 2005, when Britney admitted in a blog post for E! that she'd love to be close with Christina again. In 2008, Christina admitted that there was actually no competition between them, and that she wishes Britney all the best. When we both started releasing records, it was a funny time for me. It must have seemed as if we were competing with each other, but in reality, Britney is someone that I used to hold hands with. We were silly little girls together on the Mickey Mouse Club. What a journey it has been for both of us. I always wish her all the best.
In 2012, Brinning joined The X Factor as a judge, and Christina was a judge on The Voice. Since their careers were once again going in a similar trajectory, the media started comparing them and pitting them against one another again. In 2012, Christina was asked about Brinning, to which she responded, We were very close, and our paths have always crossed, and interestingly, they will continue to cross. Later that same year, Brittany talked about Christina while she was doing promotion for the X Factor. And the voice says, Christina Aguilera, absolutely you have Britney Spears. We have Britney Spears. Yeah, you keep on bumping into it's her. It's full Everything circle. your whole career. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? It's a little eerie. Yeah. <laughs> it's eerie. It is kind of odd, though. What are the you know chances of... It's really kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder whether she had anything to do with that decision. Oh, you think... She was the one behind the idea? Who no, knows? No. <laughs> no. No. Do you get along with her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's a good friend. Okay. And who will you be watching the show with? Your sons? Mm -hmm. Christina. Christ <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Christina's coming over to watch the expat. We have a popcorn date. <laughs> we have a popcorn date set up. Very nice. Christina has also recently showed support for Brittany on Twitter concerning her conservatorship battle, saying, These past few days, I've been thinking about Britney and everything she is going through. It is unacceptable that any woman or human wanting to be in control of their own destiny might not be allowed to live life as they wish. To be silenced, ignored, bullied, or denied support by those close to you is the most depleting, devastating, and demeaning thing imaginable. The harmful mental and emotional damages this can take on a human spirit is nothing to be taken lightly. Every woman must have the right to her own body, her own reproductive system, her own privacy, her own space, her own healing, and her own happiness. While I am not behind the closed doors of this layered and very personal yet public conversation, all I can do is share from my heart on what I've heard, read, and seen in the media. The conviction and desperation of this plea for freedom led me to believe that this person I once knew had been leaving without compassion or decency from those in control. To a woman who has worked under conditions and pressure unimaginable to most, I promise you she deserves all of the freedom possible to live her happiest life. My heart goes out to Brittany. She deserves all the true love and support in the world. Even though Brittany, Christina, Jessica, and Mandy were usually grouped together and compared to each other in the beginning of their careers, They have all since found their own way and made a name for themselves. Apart from releasing seven successful studio albums, Jessica Simpson became a very successful reality TV star and businesswoman. As a matter of fact, Jessica starred on the MTV reality series The Newlyweds between 2003 and 2005, and her clothing line, The Jessica Simpson Collection, has earned more than $1 billion dollars in revenue. Furthermore, Jessica has published a memoir in 2020, which reached number one in the New York Times bestseller list. Finally, she's been married to her husband since 2014 and they shared three children together. In addition from being a successful musician with seven studio albums, Mandy Moore has also become a very established actress. Mandy has starred in movies like A Walk to Remember, Princess Diaries, Chasing Liberty, and she even voiced Princess Rapunzel in the Disney movie Tangled. Moreover, she won two SAG Awards and was nominated for a Golden Globe and an Emmy for her portrayal of Rebecca Pearson in the hit show This Is Us. Mandy is married to singer-songwriter Taylor Goldsmith, and she gave birth to her baby boy last February. Christina Aguilera has become one of the best-selling artists in the world, with approximately 75 million records sold. She is often referred to as the voice of a generation, as well as one of the greatest vocalists ever. During her career, Christina has released many hits. She has also accumulated numerous awards, including five Grammys, one Latin Grammy, two VMAs, one Billboard Music Award, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2009, Christina also became the global spokesperson for the United Nations World Food Program and has helped raise more than $148 million for the organization. Furthermore, she starred alongside Cher in the iconic 2010 film Burlesque, she's been a judge on the singing competition show The Voice, and she has started a Las Vegas residency in 2019.
Britney Spears is unarguably one of the biggest pop stars that has ever existed. She is the undisputed princess of pop, with more than 100 million records sold and countless hit songs. She has had an immense impact on the music industry and continues to be relevant even 22 years into her career. Furthermore, she is often regarded as being one of the best performers ever, with an undeniable stage presence. Britney's remarkable music has earned her countless awards, including a Grammy Award, six VMAs, seven Billboard Music Awards, 15 Guinness World Records, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Moreover, Britney Spears has also dabbled in acting, starring in the 2001 film Crossroads and appearing in popular shows like How I Met Your Mother, Will and & Grace, and Jane the Virgin. Britney also has her own perfume line, having released 24 fragrances that gross an impressive $1.5 billion. Britney has also had a very successful four-year Las Vegas residency between 2013 and 2017. Recently, she has also been through some very public struggles concerning her conservatorship, with her dad and family taking advantage of her for years. However, her father has recently been removed as her conservator, and legal actions have been made to attempt to terminate the conservatorship. I just hope that Britney will finally get this freedom that she rightly deserves, so that she can start a new chapter where she's actually in charge of her own life. Recently, Britney has also gotten engaged to her boyfriend of four years, Sam Asgard, and the Times have included her in the list of the 100 most influential people of 2021. It's really bizarre to me that the media has had such an obsession with comparing the 14 pop princesses of 1999 and pitting them against each other. Apart from some superficial similarities, like the fact that they were all young and blonde, they were all actually very different from each other. Then again, the media does like pitting female musicians that have a relatively similar style of music against each other. However, I think it's admirable that they have all found their own ways eventually, and that they didn't let these comparisons pigeonhole them. Jessica Simpson said it best, We grew up in a very competitive environment when it came to our record labels and being pushed to do things that were unnecessary for success. Everybody has found their own way in such a beautiful, inspiring way. There's so much room at the top. I just love that everybody has remained authentic to who they are. So this leads us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you'd like to share your opinions and thoughts about this whole situation in the comments, please do so. I'd love to read them. And thank you again for sticking around to the end of this video. If you want to like or subscribe, that's always appreciated. And see you all next time. Bye.